Good morning, guys. Today is my holiday, so I decided to enjoy myself on a day trip in Tokyo. Today is a rainy day, but it's okay. So I get on a train for Akigawa, where we can see beautiful sceneries with autumn breeze. And also, I wanted to feel the atmosphere of a village. So, Akigawa is must see place in Tokyo. Despite the fact that Tokyo is a very bustling city. So, on that day, I have to transfer Itsukaiji line. The surrounding I saw on the train is very beautiful. It has some kind of like village atmosphere and actually very very beautiful. I can't believe actually this is Tokyo. Hello, good morning friends. Today I came to Akigawa. So Akigawa is a rural area uh, in located inside the Tokyo district. You know, the Tokyo is a very bustling. When you think about Tokyo, Tokyo is a very bustling city. There are too many people and every day is busy days. Tokyo has a city called Akigawa. That's to literally mean Autumn River. I'm going to explore Akigawa Valley and the hot spring. So I came to Musashi Itsukaiji Station. So from here, I have to uh, get, on the, uh, get on a bus. Uh, which goes to Akigawa Valley. Guys, I came to Musashi Tsukaichi bus station, but it says in the timetable I have to wait uh, for 30 minutes for the bus. So I have to go to the Sakashita. From Sakashita, I have two minutes walk, so it's near. So let's we wait. So, guys, you can see here some information center here. You can see afar from here. It's a beautiful bridge and also you can see some kind of smokes comes out of that mountain. I think it might be some hot spring areas. Awesome. I came to the Sakashita. Here I have two minutes walk. Don't know which way is to go. So I'm thinking which way is correct. Don't know about that. So actually, I get kind of lost, but the Google Maps bring me here. Actually, the sceneries and the environment here is very, very beautiful, elegant, and so relaxing. Well, I told you I get kind of lost at the first, so I came here, some kind of part of uh, Akigawa Valley. I came to Akigawa Valley. You can see in, in my behind, beautiful scenery. I think in November, it will be more colorful, but it's just so beautiful. What a cinematic scene here. You can see a lot of space in here. It's a very chill because today is a rainy day. In the Akigawa Valley, you can also camping, but I don't think it's a good idea in the rainy season, uh, like like today. But actually, in the summer, here is the best place and very popular place among locals and even foreigners uh, for barbecue, fishing. Of course, you have permission. Just a kind of enjoying little time here. And of course, you can enjoy the hot spring. I searched about on the internet. I uh, I saw some website saying that um, I heard about Seto no Yu Onsen. And I found the Seto no Yu thinking. So in that um, shingo, if that is the light, I I have to turn left, and there is. The board meaning uh, the direction of the Setano Yu. Okay, finally I found it. Oh, cute! Yeah. Setano Yu. 
Look at the Kira Samati. Look at the Kira Samati. Look at the Kira Samati. Is it beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Lamu. So here I found the place. So beautiful. You can see the bridge over there. We can get to the point. From here you can see the, the water is so clean and fresh. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. Here is the Setonoyu Hot Spring. It's a famous hot spring bathhouse in the area of Akigawa Valley. The visitors in Akigawa never miss this bathhouse, which includes natural food bath, and the hot springs contain a lot of minerals, health benefits, and spring water comes from the Akigawa Mountains. At the restaurant of the bathhouse, I had a little lunch time. And it's the end of the video. Thank you for watching my video today. See you in the next time.